I do ask myself a question. Why do I make films? Is it because I have something very important to say? And I think no, because it's really about things I cannot say and I will never be able to say. And um, cinema is this medium that does allow me to communicate, but not verbally, but more like sensual and intellectual communication with life and with the world. So I, was, I started to think that cinema is about unnamed things. In, ge in general, I think art is something that has no name. And maybe it's a duty of an artist or a creator to, to find those things and to bring them to ex existence. But I would say that not, but they do exist, but to give it a name in a way. I think that it's not me who decides in a way, but it's like this feeling and this thought decides for me because it becomes obsessive in a way and it starts to somehow take all the space in, in my mind. And I know that, okay, this is here there is a film and I need to find it. I always think that there is the film that it, it exists, I just need to find it. Um, we are very proud. <laughs> to have seen this movie, which here was a sort of revelation for us. It was like a real moment of, in which cinema was really inflaming the screen. So it's great honor and pride that we give the Concha de Oro to Datatskizi, beginning by Dea Kulumbegashvili. Residence in Tabacalera was really crucial and like it was a vital experience for me to come here because uh, not only because I had extremely quiet time for three weeks, I could just write and uh, um, just think and walk around the city and get lost, you know, I needed some thinking space after all the like festivals and everything that was happening with the film. There are like um, several residencies offered around Europe, but usually I refuse to go to those residencies where I have a schedule or where I really need to deliver something at the end because for me the process of doing something is, not, is never oriented to the result. One thing which I am extremely grateful for uh, that while being here, Tabacalera offered me not to define myself as something because I feel like uh, I don't feel comfortable defined just as a filmmaker or or person with any profession really because uh, because I just like to explore my ideas. I mean, I had some thoughts about my new film already and I have started to write it before coming to Tabacalera, but it was more like an intuitive process. And here, I really just started to put something on the paper also. Writing is, at the end, it's the most important part for me of making a film in a way. Because writing for me is not just to write a script in a, again, in a standardized professional manner, but writing for me is to really create a film in my head already, to find it in my head. And um, because while I'm writing, I also find places where I'm going to shoot. And I really spend most of my time in the place where I'm going to make a film because I really want to feel like everything. I hate when people say the word location, when they say, or oh, you're location scouting, because I don't know what that means. It's not like I have five options for a location and if this is not gonna work, I'm gonna use this. It's not like that. I'm finding a film within those places and spaces and uh, writing is really closely related for me to this physical process of exploring. I really try to go down to the essential 
what is essential for me in particular film. I really like to have only what I need uh, when I make a film. And I hate even when I have one extra cable or like I really don't want anything extra on, on my set. And beginning was shot on one lens. And um, I think I'm gonna shoot on one lens, my new film as well. Of course, it's interesting to explore everything in order to find an, what's essential, but technology often is also a distraction. I have nothing against technology, and I'm really fascinated with e like um, artificial intelligence and um, VR. I, I'm fascinated with everything. I just think that not knowing is part of making cinema. For me, it's important not to know certain things. And um, to test the boundaries of an image. And what bothers me is the standardized image, which is achieved through some standard quality of technology. I think that's, that's the problem for me, not the technology itself. I think that cinema can only be radical now because it's, and, and radical, I don't mean shocking, I don't mean provoking or like, but radical by in cinematic terms. I remember that Kiarostami was saying that um, good film is the one that allows you to fall asleep and wake up and not miss anything. I think that's radical. Other than cinema, I really need to see photography and of course experimental cinema and video installations and, and sound. I have a fascination with image and with sound. And you know, it's interesting that image has a sound. We don't need to hear it, but when you look at the painting, for example, in MoMA, I, I went to see Turner exhibition and I was absolutely fascinated because to me his paintings have sound and it's strange because the way I, I learned how to write my grandmother was teaching me writing when I was a teenager and she taught me how to write from a paint from paintings she would show me a painting or give me the catalogs of paintings and would just say to describe what's in a painting and the moment you start to describe you start to and describe not just an, what's who's, but to really go into the world of the painting, you start to hear it. And uh, apparently Nabokov was, has studied to write like that. At least like she, she used to tell me that, and she was <laughs> testing this method on me. <laughs> It was very useful and inspiring because, for example, when I went to uh, uh, Chilida, uh, Chilida Museum, it's the first time I started to think about proportions. And I was like looking at this um, a sculpture in, in a museum, which looks really large when you come close. But when you look in perspective of the trees next to it, trees are huge. and and. Those, like, that realization, which is very simple on, on one hand, like triggered so much for me in thinking about an image in my next, uh, in my new film, or the relationship between everything created by humans and the world we live in, the world itself. Um, and, and that's why this uh, comb of the wind is so important for me because of the cosmic relationship that uh, this art piece cannot exist without cosmos, without the world. With, and I don't know how, how is it possible to think about it in terms of cinema yet, but I know that it has very profound influence on what I'm doing at the moment. Mm -hmm.